to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan recipes and tips to help you live well. And today I thought we would do a what I eat in a week video. This has been highly requested, but I think I've been putting it off for a long time because I wasn't sure whether I liked the idea. I feel like some people take what I eat in a day videos as prescription when really they should just be meal inspiration. You guys probably know the drill already by now. I don't focus on calories or macros or portion size. I do try to just base things off of how I'm feeling at the moment and what I feel like my body needs. And I hope that you'll do the same. Take everything that I'm doing and eating in this video with a grain of salt and keep in mind that you should always do what's best for your body. So with that said, I hope this will kind of paint a picture and show you the reality of what eating in a day looks like and how much it varies day to day. It depends on things like how much I move in a particular day, what I'm doing, what the weather is like maybe, and also whether I'm feeling a little bit under the weather um, personally, I had a little bit of a struggle with appetite when I first came here and I think that was just jet lag based because I am here in Amsterdam right now. So um, with that said, let's get into what I ate this week. To start almost every single morning, I take my daily symbiotic, which is a pre and probiotic, and then I take a few other supplements. I also drink my moon tea, which is an herbal concoction that I drink for hormone health. And I didn't film these on most of the other days because I pretty much have it every single day. So I started my week with some spelt bread. I turned it into a strawberry almond butter toast. As you can see here, my knife was very dull. I was having definitely a Monday moment. Anyways, I popped them into the toaster and then I sliced up some strawberries tops on and put this all on top of some crunchy almond butter and toast. I really shouldn't be eating gluten, but whenever I come to Europe, I usually have a couple of slices of glutinous bread and I feel like spelt bread doesn't bother my stomach quite as much, um, but usually I overdo it a little bit and then I inevitably get a stomach ache. So you'll see that later in the week, but this toast was delicious and it's such a great combo. Along with my breakfast, I made, no surprise, a matcha latte, but I had another Monday moment when I realized I barely had any almond milk left, so here I am trying to get every last drop that I can. For lunch, I was inspired to get a little bit more creative and I used some eggplant to create a faux eel sushi or unagi. This is basically a vegan riff on eel sushi and here I am salting the eggplant just to tenderize it a little bit while I work on the unagi sauce. And eel sauce is actually super easy to make both vegan and gluten-free. If you guys are interested in a recipe, let me know. I'm probably gonna make a TikTok video or something like that because it's actually super simple to make. And if you ask me, this recipe is all about the sauce. So all you need is a good meaty vegetable like eggplant to stand in as your faux eel and basically you want to pop it in the oven and coat it in the sauce until it's nice and tender and kind of resembles an eel. Now for dinner I had some veggie masala that Mo made for me and this is a recipe that I actually recently posted on YouTube. We did a cook with us tutorial if you want to check it out but it's my favorite dish ever. And to end the night I tried this Vago bar but it was a white chocolate flavor and it kind of reminded me of that cookies and cream bar. It was really good. Tuesday was kind of a weird day for me appetite wise. For some reason my stomach wasn't feeling great. Maybe it's the gluten that I shouldn't have been eating. So I had a matcha latte to start the day. And then I also stayed for some food. I love this cafe. It's one of my favorites. And I had an acai bowl and some mushroom truffle toast. They actually serve a gluten-free sourdough and I highly recommend. I picked up some Indian style tempeh at the grocery store and I thought this would be really delicious to make a tempeh masala with, but I ended up not loving the seasoning. Something about it was a little funky, so kind of wish we had just used veggies, but anyway, this is the last thing that I ate before bed and we watched some Netflix. On Wednesday, I kind of forgot that I was filming this video, but I had the same breakfast as I did on Monday. Then I spent the rest of my morning putting together a vegan cheese board. I am not really a cheese board type of person, but I picked up a bunch of really cool vegan cheeses from this little shop in Amsterdam and I thought what better to do than to put them on a cheese board make it aesthetic and have a little outdoor picnic so that's kind of what the lunch situation was lots of veggies lots of crackers and a little bit more bread as well My 
My dinner was very random. I ended up ordering in some hummus because Mo did too. And I also ordered a green smoothie from one of my favorite spots here, Oliver Green. I basically just ate my hummus and cauliflower with a fork, which was really delicious. But the smoothie on the other hand, I think it's just a good idea never to order smoothies because they arrive very much melted, not thick at all. You know what I'm saying? As you can see here, I was very full though, surprisingly. So that was it. On Thursday, I made some very simple carrot cake oatmeal with some shredded carrots, cinnamon, and a little bit of rice malt syrup. I didn't really have any walnuts or other fun ingredients, so I kept it simple, but it was still delicious. I made this breakfast for both Mo and I, and I was surprised that he actually ate it along with me because, as you guys may have seen in my other video, he's not really a breakfast person. Yummy. <laughs> For lunch, I actually wanted to make some black bean and mushroom taquitos. It's a recipe from my blog, but I realized, unfortunately, I had no taco shells or tortillas. And my avocado was also really bad, so I settled for lettuce wraps and a slice of vegan cheese on the side. And to enjoy, I basically just put some filling into some gem lettuce leaves and ate like that. And I must say, it's a great way to get your veggies in if you ever feel like you're kind of slacking on that or you just don't have tortillas and want something else to wrap your filling in. I mean, I made the best of what I could and if you guys don't know what TikTok reference this is, this is just embarrassing. After lunch, Mo and I walked over to the nearby gelato shop and they have a ton of sorbet flavors that are all 100% vegan, but they're super creamy. So it's not like just a basic fruit sorbet, if you know what I mean. I got the peach and melon though because they were summer specials and Mo got mango and dark chocolate. And pro tip, if you have a significant other or a friend that you're dining with, get different flavors so you can share and have them all. For dinner, I wanted to try out this cheese sauce that I picked up at the same cheese store I mentioned. I also had some bonza pasta, so I just basically warmed it up and and turn it into kind of a mac and cheese and I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. It wasn't bad at all. And for dessert, I just had some soy yogurt and blueberries. As you can see, I was on a little bit of a soy yogurt kick, so I just threw in some frozen blueberries, peanut butter, and cinnamon and the combination may sound weird, but it's absolutely divine. And for lunch, I wanted to try out the other cheese sauce that I bought and this one was in a truffle flavor. So I sauteed some zucchini and spinach, then just warmed it up with this truffle sauce and put it together with the same pasta. I will say I definitely expected to like this more than the regular one, but preferred the first. And finally for dinner, I ordered in some vegan sushi, but unfortunately did not realize that all of the filling was deep fried, which meant it wasn't gluten free. So I only had a little bit, mostly had edamame and that was it for today. Ah, weekend. So Saturday was quite an interesting day. I guess it was an interesting weekend. I started my morning with this delicious cinnamon bun and no, it was not gluten free, but I thought to myself, why not treat yourself YOLO? Then I headed to Vegabon, which is a little deli slash vegan shop and picked up some of my favorite vegan tuna. This stuff, I mean, it's not that great when it's eaten alone, but for some weird reason, I enjoy it that way. And I had it on some gluten-free wasa crackers. My stomach was already hurting, but I thought maybe a matcha latte would help before dinner and I went on a little dinner date with Mo to vegan junk food bar which is probably one of the most popular places here in Amsterdam for vegan food. He got the pink burger and I ordered a side of salad which ended up also not being gluten free but at this point I was like you know what I'm already in pain why don't I just commit and enjoy the gluten. So I had some bitter balls which are delicious this is one of my favorite Dutch snacks and that was Saturday. Sunday was a lot simpler. I said to myself I cannot eat gluten anymore and I took a hard look at myself in the mirror and decided I would not do that to myself today. So I started off with tea and some gluten-free wasa crackers, which I kind of turned into toasts because my appetite wasn't really too great today. So I smeared on some crunchy almond butter and then some banana coin slices to top, along with some cinnamon, of course, because I love my cinnamon and that was my breakfast. Then for lunch, I repurposed some leftover seaweed salad from sushi takeout, had some tempeh, avocado, rice, and spinach. And then I finished a leftover edamame as well. I snacked on some Rude Health crackers. Didn't really love these, I don't know, was it just me? They're not too great. And for dinner, some leftover lentil soup. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun to show you guys what I eat in more than one day and I did feel a little bit more inspired to add some variety into my diet because I would notice when I was filming like the same lunch two days in a row which I think happens a lot and is also great to do sometimes to use up leftovers and things like that um but yeah if you enjoyed this video let me know maybe I'll do another one when I'm back home in New York and until then I will see you in another video soon don't forget to subscribe bye ah bye <laughs>